The following video pertains to the Predator 3500 inverter series generator, the Power Horse 3500 inverter series generator, and the Air Echo Bearcat 3500 inverter series generator. All three of these generators are the same. The products that I'm going to be demonstrating and installing these on, the installation process is identical. The only difference, other than spelling of the name, is the fact that the Predator 3500 inverter series generator is red and it is available through Harbor Freight. Or, yeah, Harbor Freight. The Power Horse 3500 inverter series generator is blue in color and it's available through Northern Tool and Equipment. And the Echo Bearcat 3500 inverter series generator is available, I guess, from Echo Bearcat dealers and it is going to be bright orange or the uh, Echo Orange. I'm going to be demonstrating these next products and shooting the next video on the Predator 3500 series, which is red. But as I stated earlier, the procedure for the install and the operation is identical for all three generators. This is the Pinellas Power Products wireless remote shutoff for the Predator 3500 generator. This item will work on the electric start Predator 3500 and on the recoil start version. It includes everything you need, including the battery itself. So if you've got the recoil start version, it, it includes a battery. And if you've got the electric start version, it uses a separate battery. So if you accidentally leave the radio in the on position, it doesn't kill your generator battery. Uh, the range of this kit is approximately 160 feet. So if you're camping, and you're in your sleeping bag ready to go to sleep at night and your generator is running, it allows you to shut off the generator without fighting mosquitoes. Uh, operation is straightforward and simple. If you've already got one of these generators, you already know to start the Predator. You turn the knob to the start position and press the start button. This one's been running recently, so it, it may or may not need choke. We'll find out. Okay. So now you're camping your generator is running and you're ready to shut it off. In order to shut it off, you simply press the start, or excuse me, press this button. And you hold the button in until the generator comes to a complete stop. As I said earlier, the kit does have its own battery. If you'll notice, the remote shutdown is turned on. If you install it the way I do with the hole so you can shut the battery pack off, you'll notice that the radio module is shut off now. If you accidentally leave the radio module on, you've got about two weeks of standby time before it kills the battery. And if it does kill the battery, you simply start the generator up and run it for a couple of hours and it recharges the radio's battery. But that will not have any effect on starting the generator. Like right now I've got it shut off, the generator will still start.